Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here with creativesoundlab.tv where audio recording is an art form. Well today is just a quick video, a couple different demos for you. By request, we have the same microphone and same concepts of polar pattern on the overhead. So this is a little bit different of an example. Uh, we've been watching uh, this mic close to sources, so the human voice, the guitar cabinet. But with this, it's several feet away from the drums. So uh, proximity effect isn't going to be playing a factor today. But there are some very technical things and reasons of why um, each pattern actually sounds different. And I'll have to make kind of a, a you know, draw on the window episode for why this is happening. Uh, but for today, I just want you to listen just to how the polar pattern is affecting the sound. Let's check it out. Here in the cardioid pattern, we can hear that it's you know your typical sound. It's a focus sound from the front. We don't get too much extra room stuff. We get a nice you know EQ out of the mic. So one thing I like about the omnidirectional sound here is it's just really even tempered. If you're using a spaced pair, I, a lot of times I've gone with omnidirectionals because they give me a really smooth sound all across the, the audio spectrum of the microphone. Okay, so in this example, the figure eight, uh, it's really the most flavorful polar pattern. And of course we can dial it back, or you know, if you love this sound, then great. So just understand that this is very flavorful compared to that omnidirectional setting. Okay, so now what I like to do is just for fun, uh, run this through a WA-76 because for me, compression is really telling uh, exactly what's going on with the mic and how well it's gonna kind of mix. So one thing that you'll notice uh, with any good compressor is you're going to pick up a little more room sound. The snare drum specifically will be a little tamed and you'll be able to have a nice balance between the kit. Especially with a mono overhead like this, it's going to take compression extremely well. Now the key here is to kind of finesse and feather uh, the release time. So uh, the attack time on 1176 style compressor like this WA76, it, you know, the, the attack really doesn't vary so much. It's a lot about that release time. So watch how much dB reduction that you have going. And then from there, you can feather that release time to really tune your sound. So let's check it out.
Okay, so that was just a little bit about how I'm dialing in mics here at my studio, and I'd love to hear your thoughts below. I'll be hanging out in the comments for any comments or questions that you may have. I'll see you.